Today I'm going to teach you how to sex a molt like a pro, a little one. This is uh, P. Tigran Wasselli. I don't even know if I said that right. You should get something like this just for separating and uh, unraveling. It's just a times three magnification. Something like this. This has a times 45 magnification. Again, these are like a couple bucks. Um, I can get some links. You will need a bowl with some water and a drop or two of uh, dish soap. Dressmaker pins that usually come in Dollar Tree sewing kits. Um, <clears throat> you probably don't need these, but I like to get a piece of cardboard, like a box, whoops, and a um, paper towel so that after I'm done, I can pin this on there. Now you're only gonna keep the molt in the water very briefly. You do not want it soaked. I see a lot of people, beginners, over wetting it, and then it makes it actually harder to tell. Um, place it on. Then pin it in the carapace. And then, hold on, I got to put my goggles on, which have LED. You're going to start putting all the legs where they belong. And you want to break off this part. Oops, go down here. You want to start at the top. And take your dressmaker pins with the flat side, not the sharp side, to use to separate. And you're going to slowly and gently separate and un unravel. It's quite a bit raveled. Now, the only part that's really important is between the top two book lungs, which is good because most of the rest ends up being... destroyed. <laughs> if you need extra dress pins to uh, keep things unraveled as you go, you can just poke them in. And already I think this is a male. Now what you're looking for is uh, certain parts. And once you're done spreading it, you can use this and you can look at it and then you can Google, you know, male or female parts and, and whatever species it is and see what yours most looks like. Um, this to me looks male. There's no spermathica. And there's a very, very dark bit right here. So I'm going to magnify this. And that's basically it. If you want to, I'll show you a getaway to uh, take pictures. You just hold this up and put your camera lens over. And you can even turn your camera on, zoom in, and zoom in extra. And you'll get even more uh, magnification. So I'll include uh, a picture of what this looks like magnified on my uh, opening. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, ask me and I'll reach out. Thank you.